Hello and welcome to GeForce and our coverage of CES. And we are here with Justin Walker. We're gonna talk about one of the big stars of the show for NVIDIA, and that is the brand new RTX 2060. I'm pretty pumped about this card. And the thing that I am most excited about is the fact the first three letters are RTX. So what makes it an RTX card? The RTX 2060 supports the next generation of gaming. You know, it can take the visuals to the next level with ray tracing. It can use those tensor cores to accelerate the performance using AI. This was something I didn't think was even gonna be possible. You know, like a ray tracing capable card, it's gonna be retailing starting at 349. And that puts it in the wheelhouse of a wide range of gamers. What do you think they're gonna feel like when they actually get to see ray tracing in person? I think folks are gonna be blown away when they actually get to see this. We're really excited to be able to bring their text technology and the next gen of gaming to more people than ever and to bring it into a place where a lot more people can access it. And I think they're gonna be super blown away when they see the visuals of ray tracing and you see the quality and the amount of fidelity that realistic lighting can bring to these games. Seeing is believing, and we've actually got a bunch of demos set up. All these PCs behind us are running 2060s, and what are they showing off? There's a range of RTX games and demos that were shown behind us. Atomic Heart by Munfish. It's kind of this, well, you kind of have to see it. It's some pretty crazy kind of Russian lab. You're not quite sure what's going on in there, but it's really beautiful. Another one is Justice. It's a pretty cool title from China. It's a pretty cool scene with a lot of fireworks and lights and reflections, and you can see how the ray tracing interacts with water and some of the caustics and the way the light comes off the water. And these things that we're seeing, they are being rendered in real time. I mean, you can turn ray tracing on and off and pause the whole thing. There's no trickery going on here. Absolutely, they're being run in real time on an RTX 2060. We got Battlefield 5 run at a nice 60 frames a second with ray tracing enabled, nice and smooth. It's pretty beautiful. Even if the game's not going to be supporting ray tracing or DLSS or any other RTX technology, the 2060 is still going to be able to run modern games more efficiently than previous cards, right? Oh yeah, the 2060 60 is based on our Turing architecture, which is the most advanced GPU architecture in the world. It was designed to be able to really accelerate some of the workloads of a modern game. A lot of games nowadays use a lot more compute workload, and we re-architected the GPU to really effectively accelerate that. And so you get really great performance, particularly in the more modern games. But all your games are going to see a good uplift in performance in the 2060. That's awesome. And for people who want these cards, of course, we're partnering with a ton of OEMs to make a bunch of options for gamers, right? Yeah, we've got basically every major OEM in the world is going to have a 2060 PC available. All our add and board partners have 2060s. They're super excited about it. So we've got a huge range of 2060s that are going to be available, both standalone and in pre-built systems. Awesome. Well, Justin, thank you so much for showing us the highs of the RTX 2060. My pleasure. Thank you guys for tuning in here on GeForce. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because we are giving away RTX 2080 Ti's to those of you who do just that. Stay tuned for our coverage from CES here on GeForce.